Hey, this is Matt from Vesquant. Today is Friday, March 26, 2021. Yesterday, the market saw a reversal pattern shape up where we gapped lower, we tested down below the open, and then we saw some strong buying that rallied uh, all the way into the close, ended up closing up right at the highs. So uh, what we're going to do this morning is take a look at this pattern that developed yesterday where we made the lowest low of the past 10 sessions, but then we closed up near the highs of the session. So it made a very nice green candlestick that had a low below all of the recent lows. So let me go ahead and set that up and discover, and we'll take a look at what has happened uh, following that pattern. We're going to be looking at all four instruments. The setup is based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, now, for this one, we are currently trading higher at the time of this recording, so I'm going to use gap up for the gap direction. I will tell you in this study, the gap direction does matter um, in how the results come out. So if by chance we were to sell off into the open, you would want to look at this with a gap down as well because that will change um, the results. And I'm not going to say gap up above prior day high because we – um, who knows where we're going to be at at that time, but that is something that could be added to it. Um, and if we're gapping up, it is likely we would gap above the prior day high, but I'm going to leave that out for now. And you can do that on your own if you choose to. Next, I'm going to go to the price pattern section, and this is where I'm going to be able to say that we closed up near the highs, but we also made a 10 day low. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say that we closed up near the highs of the session. So in this location of last open and close, I can hit equals next to close in the top 25% of the daily range. I can also grab that from the active today section. And we've got a ton of things that are um, applicable for today's session, which you can see over here in the active today. So I'm going to use this section to grab uh, the lowest low of the past 10 days being made. And it's that very bottom option down here um, from the active today section. So I'm going to click that. It comes from the new low section. If I scroll down way down here you can see it uh within that category but it has been added to the test now so now this pattern is looking at a price action pattern where you're closing near the highs of the session but you made the lowest low of the past 10 days lastly i'm going to put it in a similar market environment which is below a 10-day simple moving average but above a 200-day simple moving average and now i can click the results And here we go. These are the results of going long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you're gapping up following a reversal pattern where you made a 10-day low and closed at the top 25% of the intraday range. This is taking place below a 10, but above a 200-day simple moving average. Now, historically, the S&P has 41 samples, the NASDAQ 40, the Dow 46, and the Russell 36. If we look at the win rates on them, You'll see the S&P is fairly neutral. It's coming in about 54%, whereas the NASDAQ is quite strong with this pattern. It is at 68% of these have closed above the opening print that uh, following session with this pattern. The Dow, fairly strong at 59%, and then the Russell, the weakest of the group, and the only one below 50% at 42%. If we look at the average win and average loss on these, you will notice one thing in common. They all have larger average wins compared to their average losses. So uh, the S&P, the average win is larger, as is the NASDAQ, which has that really strong win rate. Uh, the Dow, which is favoring the win rate as well, has a larger average win. And then the Russell, the one with the weakest win rate, also has a larger average win. So um, although not all of the win rates are all that impressive, the NASDAQ is pretty strong. Um, all four of them have favored larger moves to the upside following this pattern. So hopefully you found this helpful. Good luck today, and we'll see you next time.